there's a big catch to be aware of before you buy or enable the SIG Store, SIG Energy, vehicle to grid, vehicle to home module for your house or your business. I will explain all the details to make sure that you don't accidentally stuff up and potentially lose your car warranty or spend a lot of money on a product that you may not be able to use for the long term. Keep watching to find out more. What do you think? Would you buy a SIG Energy V2X module for your battery stack, existing SIG Energy battery stack? Is it worth it? There are already people doing it right now. I'll show you some on screen. Geely EX5 owner, there's a PYD Addo 3 owner, and a whole bunch of others. So they've taken the risk. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe their car warranty won't be affected whatsoever, but maybe it will. Nobody knows because the car makers are being very cagey and careful. They aren't sure whether their warranties will support it or not, or whether their headquarters will allow them to say they support V2X or not. We'll just have to wait. In the meanwhile, make sure you read those terms and conditions and listen to my explanation to make sure you're comfortable before buying a SIG Energy V2X module for your battery stack. And because it's not cheap, you want to know what the pros and cons are before using it, before paying for it. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. I know usually nobody reads terms and conditions. That's why I'm here to read them for you and explain the key points that are important. I always read terms and conditions. I have a lawyer in my family and they told me a long time ago that People who don't read terms and conditions about really expensive products and services often end up in trouble and regret. So here are the terms and conditions for the SIG Energy SIG Store V2X module that you need to be aware of before you enable it in the software, connect your card to it, and ideally, before you even buy the module at all. Here we go. So the terms and conditions say that the vehicle manufacturer or its distributed dealer may not provide the warranty for V2X feature of your vehicle and or vehicle power battery system. Therefore, customers who choose to use V2X functionality with any vehicle model do so at their own risk and discretion. SIG Energy disclaims all liability for any product malfunctions, damage or losses resulting from the use of their V2X facility. But wait, there's more. As they say in infomercials, in the current technical implementation, some vehicle models are V2X capable according to exploration tests on site by some customers and or SIG Energy. Click on the link in the description of this video to the SIG Energy site to see a list of the cars that their customers and the company have tested to find out whether they work with the V2X module. Be aware that the country that the test was done is important as well. Every single car model is not the same specification in every single country. For example, a BYD Addo 3 in Australia may only have a 7 kilowatt AC charging port, whereas in Europe it might have an 11 kilowatt AC charging port. Similarly, DC charging specifications may be different for Australian cars versus overseas cars, and that's important for V2G implementation. Just because your car is on the list of SIG Energy tested vehicles doesn't mean that it will work with the V2X module in Australia. And it also means that there are plenty of other cars out there which may work with the SIG Energy V2X module and are sold in Australian electric car dealerships, but nobody knows yet because no one's tried it yet. Very importantly, SIG Energy warns that vehicle manufacturers may upgrade the vehicle software by OT, that's over the air updates, using the vehicle mobile SIM connection to disable V2X capability if they don't want to provide it anymore. SIG Energy disclaims all liability for that. So potentially, your car may have V2X capability for a while, days, weeks, months, or longer. And then if the car manufacturers they get, decides that they're getting too many warranty requests, or support queries about it, and it's not worth the bother to them, then they might turn it off. It's not guaranteed. The next thing to be aware of is that big energy terms and conditions for V2X use say that the, some cars may restrict the discharge amount by state of charge. So what that means is 
your electric car may stop allowing you to use V2G below a certain level of charge of the battery, say for example, 20 or 30%. But it could be different, could be higher, could be lower. Also, electric cars may only allow V2X to be used sometimes when the batteries, there also might be a minimum or maximum amount that you can discharge in any one session. For example, and also a power limit potentially as well. So your electric car may not necessarily support the full 12 and a half kilowatts or 25 kilowatts of the various SIG Energy V2X energy modules. I'm not going to read the full section completely next, but it's very clear that the SIG Energy lawyers and people in charge of the product who write terms and conditions want to make it super clear they are not responsible for what happens if you use this V2X module with your car. You assume full responsibility for using it and they are not responsible for compatibility, reliability or performance of the V2X feature or any specific benefits you might derive. So the guarantee excludes liability for malfunction, damage, loss or injuries arising from such use. And they summarize all these warnings again just to make sure they double underline and emphasize them. It says that under technical and vehicle limitations, you understand that vehicle manufacturers or dealers may not cover V2X use under warranty protocol and software limitations. They may restrict the functionality later or by over-the-air updates or dealer updates perhaps, and also limit the discharge level of V2X through vehicle protection systems. And all of these are beyond Big Energy's control. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks, and see you later.